Hey guys, this is Danielle. I'm hoping that this video will be somewhat helpful to you guys out there. When I first became obsessed with plants, I purchased maybe like 10 plants in the span of one week. I was super happy at first, just you know, living in my little plant jungle here. But then these little annoying bugs started flying around. Super frustrating. I did some research, found out that they were called fungus gnats. I'm also not a plant expert. There are hundreds of different ways to get rid of these pests and the tips that I'm going to share are not the only way to do so. These are just the few things that really worked for me and that helped me not just get rid of these annoying little bugs but helped me prevent them from ever coming back. Also, I just want to preface that normally I don't like killing bugs or seeing them suffer. It's just different when they're infiltrating my plants. I just want to protect my plants and make sure that they're happy and thriving. If you're messing with my plants, you're messing with me. So first of all, what are fungus gnats? Fungus gnats are a nuisance but they don't really negatively affect your plants for the most part. Unless you have a ton of them, then they might start feeding off the organic matter in the soil of your plants and even the roots of those plants. But if it's just a few of them, they're most likely just feeding off the fungus in the soil. And I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get rid of that and prevent them from doing that. This is a gross explanation of what fungus gnats are so they love damp soil soil that is damp allows fungus to start growing on that top layer of the soil and if you couldn't already tell from the name that's what fungus gnats love to thrive off of they actually go into that moist soil lay their eggs the larva hatches and it just starts a whole cycle where these little fungus gnats can lay I don't know hundreds of eggs at a time so definitely if you see one you want to stop that process from getting any worse so in this video i'm going to be sharing a few things that i've learned about how to get rid of any fungus gnats that you may already have in your plants and how to prevent them from ever coming back into your house and i do think it's possible to prevent them from coming back. First, I'm gonna be talking about how to get rid of the fungus gnats that you already have in your home. So if you see some of the adult fungus gnats flying around, that means that you probably already have some eggs and larvae in one of your plants. The good thing though, is that it's actually not that hard to get rid of fungus gnats in your plants. I think it's important to not freak out over them and to just realize that yes, they're a bother they're not really harming your plants for the most part. They're not really harming you. They're annoying, but you can get rid of them. The first thing that I would do is to spray the top layer of your soil with neem oil. Neem oil is an organic fungicide that you can use on your house plants, on your fruits, vegetables, gardens, and it kills any adult larvae, egg, stages of pests and it helps kill the fungus in the soil. The only caveat that I would mention about neem oil is that it does have a slight smell. I would describe it as kind of a garlicky smell, but after a few 30 minutes, the smell kind of dissipates and it's not really that big of an issue. But if you're very sensitive to smells and you think that might be a deterrent, I would just keep that in mind. Another thing you can do if you have a plant that you know is infested with fungus gnats or some other kind of pest is you can water it with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and water. I usually use one part hydrogen peroxide to four parts water. I kind of just eyeball the mixture and then I water that plant with that combination. I also use 3% hydrogen peroxide. The important thing to know is that you should not do this every single time that you water your plants. I like to think of a hydrogen peroxide as medicine for your plants. So just like you wouldn't take medicine every single day in order to prevent becoming sick, you would only take it when you're actually having symptoms. Only use a hydrogen peroxide if you know that a plant needs it for some reason there's some kind of bacteria or pest in the soil that's when i would use that 
don't try to use this every single time you water it that could probably do more harm than good my second step in getting rid of the fungus gnats specifically the annoying adult fungus gnats that fly around and just are a nuisance is to use yellow little sticky tapes i just place them in the top soil of plants that i know have fungus gnats or just plants that i think are more easily accessible in the room these sticky tapes will catch any adult fungus gnats that are just flying around your space being annoying these adult fungus gnats don't have a long lifespan anyways they only live about three to eight days i believe but these sticky tapes will definitely help you get rid of those that are already flying around your space because that is when they're the most annoying now i'm going to talk about the preventative measures that i take to ensure that once i've gotten rid of these fungus gnats they don't come back into my space so the first thing that i do is i bottom water most of my plants i only started bottom watering a few months ago and it definitely changed the game for how i take care of my plants if you don't know what this is it's pretty self-explanatory it's essentially just watering your plants from the bottom up so letting it sit in water and letting the roots and the soil from the bottom soak up that water there are both pros and cons to bottom watering and top watering so if you've never bottom watered any of your plants before i would definitely do some research on it maybe try it out with some of your plants see what feels easier to you what you like better and go from there the main reason i started bottom watering my plants in the first place was because i noticed some fungus gnats flying around watering your plants from the bottom up prevents that top layer of the soil from getting really damp making it really hard for those fungus gnats to make a home on your soil another thing that will help is letting the soil of your plants dry out between waterings in order to prevent the soil from staying damp for too long i also don't bottom water all of my plants some plants are just too large and it would just take way too long for me to bottom water them i also have some plants that are hanging um, and it's just easier to top water them if you have any plants that you top water or maybe that's all of your plants i would at least purchase some true ceylon cinnamon i just sprinkle this on the top layer of the soil and it destroys any fungus that's already there and prevents fungus from growing the last thing that i do in order to prevent fungus gnats from affecting any of my plants is i use mosquito bits specifically when i'm repotting my plants i just mix them in with the soil i've also seen some people just sprinkle them on top of the soil then mix it in with water wait for the mosquito bits to dissolve a little bit and then they use that to water their plants i think all of them have equal results i personally just do it when i'm repotting my plants and i mix it in with whatever soil combination i'm using i know there are many different ways to get rid of fungus gnats these are personally just a few of the things that really worked for me so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you took something away from it let me know if you've ever dealt with these pesky little gnats this is the unglamorous side of having plants so let me know if you found this helpful at all and i'll see you guys next time bye here comes the gross explanation of what fanged it letting the soil of your plants dry out between waterings is really going to help the fungus gnats you don't want to help the fungus gnats